Gauss's law. Carl Friedrich Gauss, a German mathematician, gave a law named after him that gives the relationship between the electric flux through a closed surface and the net charge enclosed by the surface. According to Gauss's law, the total electric flux through any closed surface is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times the total charge enclosed by the surface, where epsilon naught is known as absolute permittivity or permittivity of free space vacuum. Let's now prove the Gauss's law for a spherical surface. Consider a hollow sphere of some radius r. Let there be a point charge plus q kept at its center. Then the electric intensity at a point on the surface can be given by the equation E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by R squared into R cap, where R cap is a unit vector directed from plus Q to the surface element. Now let's imagine a small area ds on the surface of the sphere. The electric flux is now given by d phi e is equal to vector e dot vector ds. This electric flux can be written as d phi e equal to vector e dot unit vector n dot ds, where n cap is the unit vector normal to ds. The electric flux acting outward through the surface is given by the equation phi e is equal to the surface integral of vector e dot unit vector n dot ds, which can be written as phi e equal to surface integral of vector e into 1 dot cos 0 dot ds, or phi e is equal to the surface integral of vector e dot vector ds. We know that e is equal to kq by r squared. Substituting the value of e in the equation, we get phi e is equal to the surface integral of kq divided by r squared dot vector ds. Or, as surface integral of a point on a sphere, is the surface area of the sphere, the above equation can be written as, therefore, phi e equals kq dot 4 pi. But, k is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Therefore, phi e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q into 4 pi. Therefore, phi e is equal to q by epsilon naught. This is the mathematical representation of Gauss's law.